I Pan Sarma, chemistry teacher, reporting from Rishikul Vidyapit online classes. Today we will discuss the topic that is depression and freezing point. Students, in sixth lecture, I discussed second colligative property that was elevation in boiling point. Today I will discuss depression in freezing point. Before to understand depression in freezing point, we are to understand freezing point first. What is freezing point? Freezing point. Freezing point. Generally, what you know about the freezing? You understand about freezing means conversion of liquid into solid that is freezing point as according to you but exact definition or a new definition for you of freezing point is like this freezing point means the temperature the temperature at which Vapor pressure of liquid state of a liquid state become equal to solid state, solid state. Or in last lecture we discussed this point. Now if we take solvent, pure solvent, pure solvent, pure solvent and suppose it is A and now if we add B that is non-volatile solvent, non-volatile solvent, non-volatile solvent, then solution will be formed. Solution of non volatile solute will be formed. This is solution. And you know, by addition of non volatile solute into solvent, vapor pressure goes on decrease. You know very well. And vapor pressure and boiling point have inverse relation. That is why boiling point goes on increase goes on increase because boiling and freezing point are opposite to each other that is why freezing point goes on decrease or simply you can say if we compare solvent and solution solvent and solution solution has lower freezing point lower freezing point whereas solvent has more freezing point more freezing point or you can say uh, addition of non volatile solute into solvent decrease the freezing point decrease the freezing point and that is why we say there is a decrease in freezing point or that is depress in freezing point. Depress, decrease. Depress means decrease or lowers. Decrease or lowers. Lowers. The freezing point. Or you can say for better understanding, we draw a graph. We draw a graph between vapor pressure and temperature in we consider like this this side we take temperature in Kelvin here we take vapor pressure and students you know Vapor pressure of solvent is more than the vapor pressure of here 
we take this this is line for solvate or solvate means it is liquid this is liquid and here we take virus this is solution solution a solution which kind non volatile solution non volatile solution non volatile solution or you can say this is curve of, of liquid this is curve of liquid this is curve of liquid because here this is solvent this is solution now if we talk about the freezing point or also we talk about the boiling point in the both case we discuss for liquid not for solid here in solution one is solid because non volatile solid is solid and that is liquid mainly we are discuss for liquid or you can say if we take here water here we take sugar solution or here we are discuss freezing point for water also here we discuss for water or you can say here we can here uh, freezing point that is lower in comparison of this now also we take this is line or this line for vapor pressure of solid vapor pressure of solid now for boiling we are to increase the temperature for boiling reverse of it we are to decrease the temperature for freezing decrease the temperature for freezing now here this is the point this is curve this is curve for liquid state and this is curve for solid state at this point both solid state and vapor state both sorry uh, <coughs> liquid state as well as solid state have same vapor pressure that is why we say it is freezing point of what solvent freezing point of solvent for solution this is this line for liquid for boiling we are to increase the temperature now for freezing we are to decrease the temperature like this this is the point where vapor pressure of this liquid and vapor pressure of this solid are equal or you can say this is t not f and this is a tf what is t not f it is freezing point of pure solvent pure solvent this is freezing point of freezing point of solution freezing point of solution freezing point of solution here freezing point of solvent is more than freezing point of solution or you can say by addition of non volatile solute into liquid freezing point goes on decrease or decrease means depress and this difference how much decrease or that is called depression in freezing point and that is denoted by delta tf or this is the difference of freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution freezing point of solution i think all these points are clear to you now like this elevation in boiling point we proceed in a same manner now this delta tf this delta tf or you can say this depression in freezing point is due to molar concentration of solute in molar solution or that is that depend upon molarity molarity this is molality molality not molarity keep in mind students molality and 
here delta Tf in place of this we put here Kf this is proportionality constraint and this is M this modal P and what is it like to elevation in boiling point here also this Kf is also <coughs> freezing point freezing point molal depression constant molal depression depression constant depression constant depression constant or one another name of this is called cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant cryoscopic Put this equation is one. This equation is one. Now, how to define it? Kf and this generally asked in board exam many times. How to define cryoscopic constant or freezing point of molar depression constant? For this, if we take one molarity, molarity unity, then this delta Tf becomes equal to Kf. Kf. What is this Kf? This is cryoscopic constant. And this is equal to depression in freezing point when molarity is 1. Or you can say definition of this. It is the depression in freezing point when 1 mole of solute dissolved in 1 kg of solvent. Here, many other puts me here, many just molality go explain here. Students, I think, clear to you. That is here. Now, for numerical purpose, I further proceed it. From equation, delta Tf, delta Tf, that is equal to Kf into me. M. M is molality. Now you know the definition of molality. What is that? Number of moles of solute NB. N is moles, B means solute. Moles of solute dissolved per kg of solvent. W mass A for solvent, mass of solvent kg. kg. And also you can explain molality NB. How you can write given mass upon me molar mass of solute given mass WB given mass you take in grams the upon me molar mass of solute MB and here this is WA this is WA this is mass in kg now if it is given in grams then we can convert into kg by dividing 1000 that is why it goes or you can say this value of molarity we can put here. So this comes out to be delta Tf equal to Kf into me Wb upon me Mb Wa into me 1000. One Again, you know it is a colligative property because this depression in freezing point that depends on the quantity of solute. And you know what is colligative property? Colligative property is those properties which are that depend upon the number of particles of solute. That is why it is a colligative property. And in every colligative properties that may be related to in lowering vapor pressure or elevation in boiling point or also you take depression in freezing point molar mass of solutes is inverse with depression in free or inverse with colligative properties what you can say if these things are given we can calculate molar mass for any solute or you can say calculation of cal calculation of molar mass of solute molar mass of calculation of molar mass of solute 
can be done by knowing the value of colligating properties. This can be written like this. Mb goes up here and this will be Kf into my Wb into my 1000 upon my delta Tf into my Wa. So these terms should be clear to you. You know what is this? This is depression in freezing point and this can be written as T naught F minus Tf. Kf cryoscopic constant. Once again like elevation in boiling point where we use Kb. Kb that depend upon the nature of solvent. Like this, this Kf also depends upon the nature of a solvent. It depends upon, it depends upon nature of, nature of solvent, nature of solvent. And water that is universal solvent, value of it, Kf value for this, S2, this will be 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. Unit of this Kf is same as in case of Kb, where I have explained there. Also you can take here Kf. Kf can be written as delta Tf upon my m. Unit of this you take Kelvin and unit of this molality that is mole per kg, mole per kg. That can be written as Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. So this is all about this depression in freezing point. For more clarity, one simple numerical you can do here. Unit of Kf that will be Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. For more clarity in concept, numerical is needed here. That is why we take one numerical here. Numerical, you take numerical, find freezing point of solution, freezing point of solution, point of solution, freezing point of solution, you have 16, 60 gram of glucose, 60 gram of glucose formula of glucose is C6H12O6 having molar mass 180 gram per mole is dissolved is dissolved in 250 gram of water 250 gram of water given Kf value for water that is given 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole and freezing point of pure water that is also given that is 273 or you simply 0 centigrade or you can write 273 so they here Freezing point of solution you are to calculate. Freezing point of solution means you are to calculate at Tf. And here freezing point of solvent pure that also given. That is T naught F is given to you. Kf is given to you. And glucose you know that is solute. And mass of this also given. It means this is mass of solute Wb. And here this is solvent. And this mass of solvent is also given. That is W A. That is W A. So putting the formula, that is delta T F equal to K F into my W B upon my M B W A into my one thousand into one thousand.
also use simplified it that is t not f minus t f t not f this is given to you what is that 273 kelvin t f you have to calculate k f value also given that is 1.86 w b that is given 60 1000 mb molar mass of solute that is given 180 and mass of solvent that is also given that is 250 like this you can solve and you can find out the value of a tf students this is all about uh, this depression freezing point in uh, in next lecture i will discuss another polygative properties that is osmotic pressure for that you revise it okay students with this new medical today topic is over in next lecture i will discuss another polygative properties that is osmotic pressure that's all about today and have a nice day